Here with head coach Megan Dennehy and student athlete and tournament MVP Jesse French. Cavaliers victorious in the MEC tournament final 16 to 14 over Wheeling Jesuit. Coach, we'll start with you. Just your thoughts on, on this tournament and today's championship game. Lord, they, uh, Wheeling definitely um, deserves a lot of credit. They um, made us work for it, and that's exactly what you want to see out of a championship game. Um, super happy of the team. Um, you know, we didn't play our best still cross, but they were able to still keep it like calm and, and collected and, and, and just made key plays when they needed to. Coach, uh, we talked about it all season and how your team's balanced with scoring. Uh, Michaela with four goals, Sydney with three, Caroline with three, Goby with two, and then player beside you with two. Talk about that team balance and how it benefited your club all year. I mean, that's been the key to our success as a program every year. Um, the fact that we have so many balanced players on our team makes it very hard for the other team to take someone out. They can choose French, they can choose Goby, they can choose Michaela, they can choose anyone. It doesn't matter because someone else is going to be able to put it in the back of the net. I thought it was uh, big there. Uh, there was a foul on Sydney and it, it got a yellow card on Wheeling Jesuit and we were able to score off that and go back up by two goals. French had the assist on that. Talk about that and the setup on that and really what proved to be the deciding goal in the game. I mean, I think that what was important in that moment is that they didn't realize or play like they were stressed at all, I guess, if that makes sense. They were just like, let's just play lacrosse. And they were able to find each other and put it in the back of the net. And I think that was huge because for a time there, we were playing a little anxious and matching their, their anxiousness on, on their end. So I was, I was not, it was nice to see them be able to just put it in the back of the net and play their game and see the opening. Jesse, uh, 12 points in the tournament, two games. Talk about your play and what this championship means for you and your teammates now back-to-back -back years. Um, I mean, this is our last year in the Mountain East, and just to go out with a bang is amazing, and sending the seniors off with a championship, those girls are amazing, and my best friends, and I'm so glad I could get them a win. Jesse, the, the last goal of the game, same goal I was asking Coach about, you had the assist to Caroline. Talk about that play through your eyes and what ended up giving us the championship. Uh, yeah, they had a great defender on me, and Caroline just made a phenomenal cut, and I just gave her, gave her the ball, and she took care of the rest and put it in the back of the net. Coach, uh, this program uh, from where you started five years ago and these seniors who graduate today, this was their 50th win. Talk about this senior class and what they've accomplished now. Really four championships, two regular season and two tournament titles. Oh, it's just been amazing. I mean, when I got here, I, uh, I knew what I wanted to do and I knew I needed some people to help me do that. And so being able to go out there and really find um, just players that had character, that had grit um, and determination, and came in here and believed in me and what I was trying to build. And that's why we've been able to be successful. We're all on the same page. We all trusted the process, and we were able to get it done. Coach, your seniors, uh, Gresham, four goals, Steinberg, three, Goby had two, and then today, uh, from a draw control standpoint, which I thought was huge, Jess Afgar, single game, MEC record, 10 draw controls. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Man, Jess! <laughs> amazing. I didn't even know because the game was so stressful. But you obviously did phenomenal work for us on the draw. Um, that was the key. I mean, draw controls we knew going into this game would be important and so we were able to dominate that and obviously it, it led to goals. And so even though she didn't put them all in, she got one. Um, she was able to get the ball over to our attack end. Coach, final question. We'll let you guys go back and celebrate. What did it mean to play in front of your home fans and, and friends and family and and how much of a, a help and boost were they with their cheers and support they showed throughout this tournament and throughout the season? Even if we weren't home, they would have been there. And that's what's, that's what's awesome. Um, the support we have from our family far and away, uh, we couldn't ask for a better support group. We have great daughters because of them. And um, their support means the world to us. So if we were home, if we were away, we knew they were going to be there and cheer and go Cavs go. And so um, obviously it does uh, feel good to be able to do it at home and be able to be here on our, on our home turf. Cavaliers win back-to-back -back MEC tournament titles. They do it today, defeating Weaving Jesuit 16-14. to 14. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, let's go.